So I'm at the NEC at the PPMA show with Jake Norman from the OAL Group. Jake, you're here talking about steam infusion. Explain the technology. Steam infusion is a revolutionary heating and mixing process. What we're doing is we're injecting steam into a food product, but we're uniquely accelerating that steam such that when the, we're creating a partial vacuum, which is then has a number of profound effects on, um, on taste and flavour and viscosity, and it allows us to train and hydrate powders to higher levels and in a better fashion uh, than, than traditional methods. What's particularly interesting is we can manufacture soups and sauces and, and ready meals and we can improve the quality of those, those products and we're speeding it up and it's more energy efficient, but it also opens up the possibility of creating food products and ingredients that don't currently exist or cannot currently be commercially manufactured. So we've seen a, quite a lot of success in the marketplace where customers are coming to us and saying, I can't manufacture this, I need to be able to manufacture this, can we have a go with steam infusion? And then we've been able to process it. Okay, that sounds really interesting. Are you able to give me any examples? The, probably the, the is very interesting is around what we've been doing on maize hydration, um, which is a project that we're implementing in Zambia uh, to make a nutritional drink, which is a local nutritional drink called Mahu. Um, which are essentially hydrating maize flour. Now, traditionally, you'd ha they, they would have a, a, a large number of, of systems to be able to do this in any sort of big volumes, um, and it would be very time-consuming. But when we're, we're, we're processing it, we're instantly hydrating the maize flour, which brings about some significant commercial uh, and operational advantage because of the speed with which you're doing it, but also in terms of the quality of the product, it's very much differentiated from what exists in the, in the current marketplace there. Interesting. And, and is it easy to install this technology into an existing production line? In, in, in turn, we can retrofit these systems on, onto existing production systems. There are a number of engineering challenges around doing that though vessels uh, that are old um, we don't really want to take ownership of and have to have responsibility for any sort of engineering that would have to be done on it because it's very risky um, and there's also the fact that that it might that actually be able to get everything to fit uh, m m may become a bit of a hassle so it's obviously much better for us if we can have a clean clean bit of area to, to work in and with a system's footprints the size of ours then there is normally an opportunity to do that in a factory. Okay, so you're working quite closely with some brand owners. I see there's an accolade on the wall there from Heinz. Can you describe yeah. your relationship with a brand owner and how they can apply this into their innovation cycle? I mean, Heinz we work with on our autocloning platform, which is our uh, label and date code verification technology um, for securing the, the labels and date codes on their, uh, their I think it's their baby milk product. Um, but in terms of what, what a brand gets from it, they can start to generate significant business value um, in terms of the quality benefits and an uplift in product. Um, what we saw is that on quite a low cost product, unit, uh, own label unit item of soup, then there was significant increase in the, in the volume of sales uh, in, the, in the thousands of percent after they started manufacturing on this because they were able to hit a very low unit cost point um, but have a very high value or perceived customer value in that, in that area. Thanks. Which is where we find it, which is where we really want to be going. We want to be moving uh, manufacturers from and creating uniqueness for them, be that in profitability of, of a product, so, or, or actually creating it so that the quality is differentiated from their competition.